Hello everybody, true Italian here. We start today with the second edition of my little series, loosely produced series, True Italian's Literal Discoveries. Um, the title that I uh, put uh, to the video with Brownie and the mask and, and you may have been thinking, what the hell is going on? It will be revealed within a few minutes, so just uh, stick to the program. You will be... You, yeah. Okay, let's start this. True Dentalian's literal, literal discoveries. That's a tricky word. Um, surprisingly enough, it still doesn't have anything to do with this book, Dark Hearts of Chicago, by William Horwood, marvelous writer, and Helen Rappaport, wonderful writer too. Uh, I will, that's a promise, I will tell you about this book some other day, but not today, so I'll put it away. Clink, clink, clink. All right. Um, today is January the 31st, and uh, this means it's the birthday of uh, a writer, an author that I like very much. It's uh, Ricardo Pinto. I put the link to his website in the info box, so you should go and check it out. Uh, Ricardo Pinto is uh, it's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Ricardo, if you're watching this. I hope you have a great one, and uh, I'm looking so, so, so forward to... Okay, I'll, I'll tell I, I, Yeah, let's stick to the schedule, shall we? Ricardo Pinto has published two books already. It's a fantasy trilogy. Um, volume 3 is uh, to be published in March this year, March 2009. And I'm very thrilled. Can't wait to get my hands on that book. Uh, volume 1 and Volume 2, of course, obviously have already been published. We are talking about a fantasy series that is called The Stone Dance of the Chameleon, and I have here the English editions of uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volume 1, The Chosen, and Volume 2, The Standing Dead. Yeah. Um, I discovered those back in the years, I think it was 2000, 2002, when I was reading it. And uh, so it was the German edition here, Steinkreis Stein des Chameleons, um, Band 1, Die Auserwählten. So I was reading this book and one night uh, I was close to the end, uh, only a few pages left, so I was lying in my bed, my bedroom obviously, and uh, I finished the book and I was lying there in my bed, it was 2 a.m. or even a little bit later, I was lying there and I was, I was, because the book ended with a screaming cliffhanger. I, really, I was, I was, I was really on, on the edge of my nerves. I wanted to read on because the events portrayed there were so dreadful, so painful, so really, it, oh, ah. so I was lying there in my bed, eyes pried wide open and I thought I have to continue reading. So uh, I tried to get to sleep which took me a few hours longer, uh, no a few minutes longer, not hours, longer than usual and the next day, the very next day I wrote an email to the German editor, uh, Klet Kotter, good editor, um, and I asked them when volume 2 of this series will be due. When it will be, because I knew it hadn't been published, but I was hoping like within within the hour huh, or within a few weeks. I got an answer basically within the hour or next day. A very friendly person from from the sales department told me that yes, volume two will be published. Yay! And uh, no, I will have to wait a little longer because it's still six months time that yeah in in fall it was and I was at the end of winter somehow and I was like what six months how will I do that you know I was I was I was crushed I wanted I, but I had no choice choice so I had to wait for volume two and finally whoops it was published here in Germany back then I must say I was stupid I didn't go for the English edition because this of course is published a little earlier usually because it has to be translated and all <coughs> so sorry <coughs> I was waiting for the German edition <coughs> And um, it finally came out, and I read it, and uh, I was, I read it a little bit slower because I knew volume three wasn't there yet. <coughs> I'm very sorry, this is not very professional. <laughs> uh, volume three wasn't there yet, and indeed was a very much longer wait till then because volume three will be 
even huger than these two books are, N not um, um, together, but uh, it's, it's going to be a mighty volume. And uh, so it took Ricardo several years to finish it, and um, now it is finished, and it's in the in the process, it's in print and everything, and it will be published some at the end of, of March, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I will surely go check it out. You might also check these babies out, the English or the German edition, whatever you like. Uh, I'm, unfortunately, I don't have French, Finnish, or what do you know. Um, you should check it out. It is a very special kind of fantasy. It's nothing like Lord of the Rings. It's also nothing like the, the hero fantasy type like Conan the Barbarian with muscle men, etc., etc. It is a society that is being described there that is very, very, yeah... It's somewhat between the the ancient Mayan culture and influences from from uh, Yevgeny Samyatin uh, and uh, George Orwell with 1984. So uh, a very a very not depressing scenery. No, that's not the right word. But it's a society that is uh, clenched into two parts. We have the the uh, the ruling the ruling class um, of a kind of superior beings there that are always clothed. And now I come to this. <coughs> when they go to the public, they always wear a mask. No one of uh, the lower population is allowed to see their faces, and if they do, bye-bye. Um, so they are always wearing uh, very beautiful and, and very uh, intimidating masks, and this is what Browning was trying to do in the beginning. I think it didn't look half bad, but uh, you won't believe how many takes I took until this finally looked halfway the way I wanted it to be. Yeah, one of my shortcomings, but it worked out, and so finally we're there. Um, Ricardo, again, I wish you a wonderful, uh, happy, uh, great birthday. I hope you have a big party and friends coming over and, yeah, whatever it needs. Uh, I thank you again. I got two signed copies here from him back then because we got into contact a little bit via email. Uh, I can show you that. It's written here for Michael with warm regards, Ricardo, and the date is uh, the 30th of March in 2003. Uh, I had been reading this book in 2002 and um, etc. etc. And he sent me these. I'm very proud of those. And um, well, maybe you have copy for me then when Third God, this is the, the title, The Third God, is being published, but no, just saying, um, no, no, no pressure here, you know my postal address, no, it, it is, it's up to you, you know, mm, no matter, no, okay, 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 I think I'll end this now, go check out Ricardo Pinto's website, by the way, dear German viewers, um, ich bin der Meinung, dass Ricardos Website eine deutsche Sektion braucht, weil auch wir Deutschsprachigen, die des Englischen vielleicht nicht so mächtig sind, möchten ja wissen, was Ricardo so macht. Und diese Website ist sehr interessant, sehr informativ. The website is very interesting, very informative, with quite a lot of background material that is very interesting to know about these books. And so I'm, I'm um, hoping that Ricardo will, when the website is being relaunched, um, yeah put in the German section there for the German readers and uh, um, yeah I want to do the translation of this so uh, please Ricardo keep this in mind I'm waiting here everything's at the ready well I'll end this now happy birthday once more and um, I want to leave the scenery now and uh, say see you next time with another little discovery I truly can tell bye bye